Hello, my name is Dennis Van Elstorp, and this is an installment on brood comb management. As always, these be informed partnership survey studies are epidemiological in nature, so you should not look at the results as conclusive, causative, protective, or attest to the efficacy or lack of efficacy of any of the products or techniques mentioned. So, average age of comb. We asked beekeepers, how old was the comb in your colonies? And what you can see, and this is the relative mortality of these different ages, basically um, what you can see is that there was no significant difference except for those who had very new comb, so it was less than a year, versus those who had comb that was between one and two years old. So this is a very interesting, that, that new comb seemed to have slightly elevated levels of mortality as compared to some of the other aged comb. We can also ask the question about the degree of comb replacement. We've been talking about comb replacement for a long time, basically getting those old combs out of production and putting new combs in there. The idea is that this comb is, is, is basically wax, which is fat, and that fat absorbs a lot of pesticides and disease, and so if it's in there for a long time, it's sort of this sponge of chemicals that might be bad for the colony. So replacing it and getting rid of that disease load and pesticide load may have benefits. What you can see here is that those people who replaced more than 50% of their brood comb with new comb lost significantly more colonies than those who did not replace frames at all. So there seems to be an upper limit to the benefit of replacing large amounts of comb. And if we look at, at the regional basis, you can see that this is particularly pronounced in the northern states. Um, this does, does make me wonder if perhaps this may be the result of the wintering state. We know, for instance, that if you have a lot of dark comb in your colony and the bees are overwintering there, if they come across a frame that's new comb or white comb, those bees seldom will cross over that comb and feed on the honey that might be on the other side. And so this might have to do something with the biology of that cluster. Again, that's all speculative, but certainly um, it may explain some of this. So I think the take home is not that you don't replace your comb, but you can't do it drastically. We also asked the, the question, if you had any brood comb that you had stored from previous years, or if you had bought some old brood comb that had been previously used, did you use it in your operation the previous year? Certainly most beekeepers do. I mean, every beekeeper who has a dead colony uses their brood comb again. But you can see that those beekeepers lost a lot more colonies than those who did not use previously used comb. Again, though, we can't draw a causation here. It could be that the people have these endemic problems of high mortality just have more brood comb to reuse. And so that might, this might be the consequence rather than the cause of increased mortality. But an interesting finding nonetheless. You can see this finding was consistent for both northern and southern states. So it was regionally um, uniform. Of course, a lot of beekeepers do things to treat their comb in order to preserve it so that there's no small hive beetle or wax moth that might damage it or to try to get rid of any parasite loads or pathogen loads. So some people will call comb, freeze comb, some people will fumigate it um, or irradiate it and use wax moth crystals. What you can see is there was basically no difference between those who used no technique and used one of the given techniques. Um, very few people indicated they fumigated with acetic acid, which we know kills um, which kills Nosema spores, um, but they, that's why there's the large variance there. And again, these high peaks for those may be indicative of the people who had really big problems were most likely to fumigate or irradiate their equipment. I think the take home message is you do want to replace your comb, but you want to do it in reasonable steps, not over 50% or more of the comb. Um, and if you can't avoid using old brood comb, do so. Thanks.